All right, in this lesson here, what we're going to do is kind of expand on what we did in the last lesson. Where in the last lesson, we showed you how to use jump pads for helping control where bots are going to go. Now what we want to do is show you how we can use teleporters, because teleporters, of course, are going to play part of the whole path node network as well. Exactly. You might have a level set up to where you teleport to a sniper point, and, of course, you'd want to make sure bots use those as well. So the first thing we're going to do is grab the actual uh, teleporter actor. Back to the actor class browser, navigation point, small navigation point, teleporter. I'll add the first one just a little bit off of the network, maybe out on the floor around here. So add a teleporter. And now I need to go out. What we want to do is set this teleporter up so it teleports the bot back to around the starting area at the bottom of the ramp. So I'm going to add another teleporter back outside. So I'm just going to navigate the camera back through the door. So I've got the ramp and near the start point. So back to the base of the ramp, maybe somewhere right around there. Add the second teleporter. Now I'm going to open up this one's properties. And, of course, the two properties we'll need to be looking at are tag and uh, URL under teleporter. Now, in this one, for now, let's keep this simple and make it uh, a one-way so he can only teleport back out, and then he has to walk back inside. So I'm not going to set a URL for this guy. This teleporter's job is just to be a destination point. So I'm going to use uh, change its tag so I can refer to it. We'll call it start point, like such. Now I'm going to go back inside the level where I have my uh, starting teleport, something like, yeah, there it is. Now, this guy, we're not going to be needing to refer to his tag because we're not going to be teleporting to him. We do need to go to URL, though, Let's say start point, so that when we rebuild, it knows to calculate, it'll internally, it's kind of like a path between these. So if we rebuild, we should have this set up so that, A, players can walk through it, plus it counts as a navigation point that just, um, expanded the general network mm -hmm. of where the bot's going to be running to. Plus, it should be set up for uh, if the bot hits it, he'll teleport back outside. And instead of using the, the proper static mesh to go under and all that for looks, yeah, let's just go up to be hidden and set that guy. So we can see it ourselves That's if we want right. to test it. So with that, with everything we built, also, again, here's that uh, purple line or purple pink or so whatever. So if you were to follow that, that's going to go all back the Back outside, back. so if we hide static meshes, we can see a little bit farther. It's going out towards where we have the bottom Actually, of the Actually, in the top view, you might be able to see it pretty well. So if I go to the top view, right I do the click. same thing, go to yeah. view and say show paths. And there say, you can see it. There's our teleport point, and if I hide static meshes, there all we go to the, the way base back of the... the beginning. Very nice. So, looks good. And yeah, definitely getting more of a web effect in the whole network. And still, this is this is still a, a pretty small path node network. They get crazy, man, crazy. Play. Sam, let's ghost out, add a bot, and view that bot. Now it might take a little bit longer as we keep increasing the bot has more choices more of what to. Do. So right. now I mean you can run all around, you can grab the uh, jump pad. You want the teleporter? Man, there Jumped we go. Right onto the teleporter. He grabs the teleporter. Excellent. Very good. He knew what we wanted. Right on the teleporter. Apparently, the teleporter almost seems to take a little bit of priority there. It's like, ooh, teleporter. Runs in. And he goes through it again. Ooh, teleporter. You <laughs> having a good old time doing this here. And it does work really good. Let me see real quick. Just uh, see if the uh, show debug will trace across the uh, teleporter. Cool. So right now he's using that as a point just because he's hitting it. I might move it off to the side a little bit more or make sure I change it around. I'm going to go ahead and move it to the end of the navigation network so I can see. Because right now, based on the way it's tracing here, we've got, you can see the green line, but it hits the teleport edge instead. Right. So it's kind of hitting it by accident. I just want to uh, tweak Plus this just yeah, a little this bit. This is also a good example of when you get into tweaking when you want, you know, a very specific path for the bot to take. So I'm grab this and it's... And this is a definitely a reason you want to rebuild, is it still drags all those paths with it as you move it around. So you want to, you always want to rebuild before playing, so that it recalculates the correct paths and everything. So move them back down, we've drug all these paths over, but when we rebuild... It'll correct all that. Because now it says, like, oh, wait a second, this is the closest path. So that's more of a direct line. We should see, at least just for a second, possibly the uh, show debug trace through that. So, see how that's running. Okay. Now watch him go for the jump pad instead. <laughs> Options, options, options. He's now getting a lot of options. Play. Now he kind of want he fell off the ramp, so he wandered off into a. There we go. Now I found it. <laughs> that was great. I'm just gonna 
camp out here for a minute. It's all good. Yeah, it's like a shot. Hey, hey, going for another one. Excellent. And anyway, he's not tracing to that. Need a reason for him to go back outside. Well, not that way. He said, okay, I'm going back outside. Think for a second here, what would be a good way of making him put a shield near the uh, other point? But he doesn't see anything past that point, so he's not really sure of what's the point of going down there. Yeah. Let's see what we could do. If we want to take just a second, we can move the destination point somewhere else and actually put an item. Like the only way to get to that item is through the tall. So I might actually duplicate off the uh, shield charger, move it somewhere else. So let's say first, let's pick a, a new spot for a different shield charger. How about maybe over here on these stairs where he doesn't otherwise go to? So I'll grab this guy, I'll hit Control C to copy it, and then down on top of this ramp here, I'll right click, I'll say Edit, Paste, and Paste here. So we've pasted this shield charger in place. Now I want to take the destination teleporter. So let me just use a little line and trace myself back out to where he is. This guy, and might be easier just to cut this one as well. We use do control X and cut that out. And go back over so he teleports near this point, maybe right about here. So I'll say again, edit, paste, here. Move it up just a little so it's not through the floor. Let me see what happens when we rebuild now. He's got these calculated and these are one-way paths, so once he get this, gets the shield, he can jump back down, no problem. But the only way to navigate to that is from teleporter to teleporter. Cool. And back that way from the stairs just a little bit. Yeah, to the side. Just being a little bit picky, but again, keeping paths away from and sharp you can edges. Run into problems. Be you can run into problems with teleporters as well if you have them... It's like static meshes going through them, etc. Right, that's another thing to watch out, and that's that's also easy to test for yourself. If you run through a teleporter and it and doesn't work, it doesn't work. It like has you have the effect that you stay. That means that your destination is invalid somehow. It might be through a collision or something. Right. Play. Ghost out again, real quick. I just thought of something else. The way uh, shields work now, where he can't shield stack them. Wait, oh! As the problem is, he's got a shield now. He's got 50 uh, shields, so there's no real need to go after that. As a matter of fact, he probably can't pick that other one up. So here's here's a quick idea. One last week. Oh, let me see. No. I can set the the normal uh, spawn delay back in on the first one. I've edited these uh, shield chargers just a little bit. By default, if we look at the properties under uh, pickup base, we have uh, delayed spawn, true or false. Let me delay this one so he won't be able to use this one as a true shield until later. And let me test that out. Cool. We didn't move anything around, so we shouldn't need to rebuild. So right. he skips that all together. Oh, oh all of a sudden now he's interested. Yeah, yeah, so we can it. now that really shows off how yes, he truly is using those teleporters connection as a navigation point. He could tell that, hmm, I really want that shield. Okay, look, there's a teleporter connection. Good, let's go for the teleporter. Went and grabbed the other one as well. <laughs> So now, and again, now that he's got a more advanced network, he's just going to run around. Right. So you can see off in the distance there, we've got that uh, damage, which we'll take a look at shortly. So um, with that, that uh, that pretty much wraps up uh, basic teleporting. Okay, use. Sounds good. Thanks.